very excited to have her because she took a very long, long, long boat ride to be here. Put your hands together for Helen Hung. <laughs> Keep clapping. She takes her a while. It was a really long boat ride. <laughs> the uh, roots haven't been quite established yet. Uh, sorry it took me so long to get up here. Uh, the foot bindings are a bitch, guys. Um, <laughs> hi. Hi. Uh, I haven't, this is the custom, but I haven't quite figured it out with this, uh, with this projectile device that I'm supposed to be talking into. So I'll just, okay. Hi. Uh, wow, I'm having, uh, ugh, I'm having the worst relationship drama <laughs> lately, guys. I mean, it's just terrible. My father is trying to marry me off to a horse farmer <laughs> in Shenzhen. <laughs> Have you guys ever been to Shenzhen? <laughs> that place is a goddamn dump. I mean, there is one silk store in the entire province, and it's a TJ Silk, guys. I mean, how do people live like that? I don't understand. It's just so backwards over there. And he's a horse farmer. He smells like horse shit, literally. And my dad wants me to marry him, and I don't have a choice because that's how things are done. Your dad just fucking marries you off. It's bullshit. <laughs> my dowry is so lame, too. I'm being <laughs> married off for three bushels of grain. <laughs> which, I'm so pissed about that, because I was like, Dad, um, Wei Fu got married off for five bushels of grain. And that bitch has like a hairy mole growing out of the middle of her forehead. <laughs> he was like, this is ancient China, that shit is good luck. <laughs> I was like, good luck to the man fucking her. I mean, <laughs> so gross. I hate that skinny bitch too. I mean, she thinks she is so much better than me because her dad's a jade carver. Like, that's so much better than my dad. My dad's a calligrapher, and she's like, whatever, I'm just writing shit. <laughs> like, fuck you. <laughs> I, too, have to consult my scrolls, guys. <laughs> we have scrolls everywhere in the ancient world. <laughs> you know, like, the thing that really, I really blame the pr my predicament on Confucius. That guy. <laughs> What a lady-hating douchebag that guy was. I mean, he's the worst. He's like, Confucius say, woman has to look up to man. Confucius say, woman's most important duty is to provide sons. Confucius say, these hoes ain't loyal. <laughs> like, you, you're clearly a closeted gay man. Confucius, so why don't you stop the bullshit and come out of the closet and stop like hating on us women? God, I wish I had rights. <laughs> <laughs> the real reason why I'm freaking out is because I'm in love with somebody else. I'm in, I'm in an interracial relationship, which is outrageous because it's 32 BC, guys. I mean. That shit just doesn't happen nowadays. I met a guy who is a Roman legionnaire. He's in China right now because his ship got blown off course by a typhoon. 
His legion are like the only non-Chinese people in all of China. And it's crazy. I mean, I he's hot. I've never seen anything like him. I mean, literally, we don't have people that look like him at all. He has hair on his arms. What? Wow, what are you, like a white tiger? That's... <laughs> I'm so embarrassed about how I met him because, oh, it's so embarrassing. Like, I didn't even meet him on OK Emperor. Like, a lot of the girls are meeting guys now. And it's even worse than that. Guys, it's so ghetto. I met him on Plenty of Koi. Oh, <laughs> God. So embarrassing. Do not tell anybody. He would die if I told you. And he's just... You know, he came on really strong at first because he's Roman and he's just obnoxious. Um, I mean, he was just like, hey, nice feather headpiece. And I was like, oh, my God, who does this guy think he is? Emperor Chang? What's up? Um, but we get along so great. I mean, listen to how crazy this is. Like, I love the star signs, right? So he is the year of the monkey and I am the year of the rabbit. I mean, could we be more compatible? <laughs> it is like we are yin and yang, like literally. <laughs> this is fun, this standing up thing. <laughs> I don't know, like the, our first date, he took me to a cockfight. Like, with actual cocks. Calm down. <laughs> and now he wants to take me to, um, he wants to take me to Cirque du Shanghai, guys. <laughs> and I can't, it's, uh, oh, God, if my dad found out. But he was telling me about um, his culture, Roman culture. It's crazy backwards. They don't even have silk over there. Like, what are they wearing? And he was saying that in Rome, the ladies show their arms. What a bunch of sluts. <laughs> you show their arm. That's fucking, I can't even show my wrists. <laughs> but I'm probably, we're probably going to be separated forever, and I'm probably going to have to marry this fucking horse farmer because it's 32 BC, guys, and I don't really have a say. I mean, I could run away with him, but I, some like someone would probably kill me <laughs> you guys are awesome thank you so much I wish you lots of prosperity <laughs> keep it going for Helen Hung she's marrying a horse farmer it's tough out there it's just tough out there for us ladies I recently got a stone of someone's penis sketched into it I got a dick stone, is what I got. A dick stone. It was ridiculous. <laughs> I have so many dick stones.